Well, hello today, people of YouTube. Today we have the Xperia Z Ultra, the big phablet device, 6.4 inch from Sony. Well, technically, uh, it's still a phablet, though it's very close to the uh, tablet category, but they call it a phone and a tablet, so hence phablet. It is running the Snapdragon 800 clocked at 2.2, and this thing got a 33,000 in the Antutu score and a 21,500 in the quadrant. That means it beats everything on the market. Um, there are a couple of devices which probably would fall in its performance range like the new Xperia Z1, the LG G2. So there are just a few of handful devices out there which could actually perform as better as this device. Now uh, this review would be based on my uh, experience with this device after using it for two days. So let's start off with the display. Sony has done something right with the display on this one. There are no milky white viewing angles. It is a high contrast, triluminous display. As you can see, it has very less color shift, contrast shift, while I tilt the screen, but not that it matters because no one would watch uh, or at least see a mobile from this angle. But yeah, this is really one of the good works from Sony in terms of the display technology. Now talking about its size, um, I wanted to try how does it feel while driving because I do a lot of uh, whatsapping, SMS, calls. Frankly speaking, I did struggle a bit but it is, I think I can manage it. Not that it's extremely difficult but yes it is difficult. Uh, especially with my small fingers, yes it is. See I can't even reach all the way towards the end of the screen. I can't barely hold it properly as well but still. It is quite a good experience. Now, when while I was not driving and I was using it with two hands, it is an absolute must device to have. I mean, the screen size makes everything so good to use that you will literally fall in love with the device. And one thing which also worked for me is the 6.5 mm width. Now this thing is really slim. It feels really premium and it's really good to hold except that it's a little difficult to hold completely like this but when you hold it this way just casually just to browse and stuff like that it really feels premium um, what else do I talk about performance quite obviously it's top-notch I have absolutely no problems with it there were no lags no stutters no jitters talking a bit about the camera performance um, well, the camera I would say is okay, not great, but it's pretty okay. I mean, we have seen better cameras, but I would say it's still okay. There are a lot of noise and grain and a kind of a purple tinge that happens. You can see some over sharpening effects going on here. As you can see, see these the con edges of the objects, the tissue box, it's completely over sharpened. Um, I don't know if that is to do with noise reduction or just to create a more striking feel on the photo but I'm not quite sure on that. But the photo uh, camera quality is possible I would say. Video quality again is quite decent. Full 1080p it, it does quite good and I have no complaints on that front as well. By the way I'm recording this video on the Xperia Z1 so you can gauge the quality of the Z1 as well. Um, what else do I talk about? Battery life, yeah. Battery life, let's quickly jump into it. I've been using this device from like morning. It's right now on 28% charge. So let's see the battery usage here. It's from 15 hours, 45 minutes. Though I was not using it from 15 hours because I started using it from morning. I left it at 100% yesterday night. Let's see the screen time. It's almost 2 hours of screen time with... Um, 3G on all the time, HSPDA Plus on all the time. So all in all, 3000 milliampere battery, I think it should give me um, at least half an hour to 45 minutes more screen time. So that's close to what? 2 hours 45 minutes of screen time on this device. And that too with full brightness. I had kept my device on full brightness because I was out throughout the day. So considering that quite good. All in all, I would recommend this device to someone who is a multimedia freak who likes to watch movies constantly um, and definitely a must buy for him 
I would definitely not recommend this device for a road warrior, a person who's always on the road where he has to make a lot of calls, a lot of SMSs. Definitely this is not a device for him because at a point of time if that is the use then it becomes very difficult to use this. Right then, thanks a lot for watching this video. Keep it locked, keep it real.